I'm going to show you how to transfer bacteria from one auger slant to another using aseptic technique. The first step, as always, is to sterilize your loop in the back D loop. So we put it in and count to 10, but slowly. 1,001, 1,002, 1,003, 1,004, 1,005, 1,006, 1,007, 1,008, 1,009, 1,010. And that should be long enough to make it red hot and glowing, although the glow goes away right away. Now it's sterile. Then I'm going to pick up my culture tube. So there's growth on this slant, and I'm going to touch down to that slant. You need to make sure you cool your loop for about 20 seconds before you put it in to the test tube. Then you remove the cap with your fingers, and I want to show you something here. Do you see how my fingers are not below the grooves on the lid? And that's to make sure that I don't accidentally get my fingers down um, and touch the test tube itself. Okay, so I've talked long enough, this is cool. So I'm gonna put the loop in to pick up a little bit of bacteria. And I just kind of rub, we don't wanna pierce the auger, get a little bit of bacteria on the loop. And then I'm gonna replace the cap, I kind of bump into the edge of it like this, and then push down. Make sure the lid's all the way back on. Then I pick up my sterile media, and notice I've already put my label on there. I like to do that ahead of time so that I can be quick when I work. And notice also that the label is at the top part of the slant, rather than back here. If I had the label back here, I couldn't see my bacteria growth. So then I'm going to remove this cap again. Notice that my fingers don't go below the grooves. Then I put the loop in and I go, let's see if we can get this so you can see it, go to the bottom of the slant, I'm not piercing the auger, and watch how it's kind of a ski slope motion up. And that's how I inoculate the slant. And then again, see how I bump in to the side and put the lid back on like so. So now we're done with the transfer, but we have a live bacteria on this loop, so we need to sterilize it. So into the back to loop it goes again. Put it in there and count to 10, 1001, 1002, 1003, 1004, 1005, 1006, 1007, 1008, 1009, 1010. Notice that I didn't put the handle of the loop in. If you did that, it would melt. Okay, so then we bring it out. We now it's sterile. We're going to set it on the table when you're done. Um, and we'll see you in the next video.